football team. Fourth at the FIFA E World Cup. Canada's best FIFA player. Toronto FC. Red Bull. All by playing your favorite video game. Welcome to the oh, TLN Game Room. Okay, this is sick. So before we get you into your element, where you're absolutely gonna beat me, do you wanna play some real football? Yeah, let's All do right. this. Okay, wait, you said you were an Inter fan, right? Yeah. Okay, let's switch. Oh yeah, this is definitely switch. You pretty much have every teenager's dream job. Yeah. You guys play <laughs> video games for a living. How did that even start? Um, honestly, it started like when I was in university and legit, I was gaming. I was distracted. I was One distracted. nothing. I was distracted. That's my strategy to get you talking so I can beat you. So yeah, so pretty much I was in university second year and um, Pretty much uh, FIFA started doing competitive online play and I ended up like qualifying to a tournament in Miami. So I showed up to the tournament like nobody knew who I was and they're like, oh, who's, who's Phil? Who's this guy from like Toronto? What yeah. were you doing in university? Like what I was, was your uh, ambition? I was in Society. I wanted to be like a cop or like uh, like an immigration officer. And honestly, like this, this worked out pretty good. The typical days pretty much practicing as other professional players like Go, Icardi. He's back. Pretty much practicing as other EMLS athletes. So, like every MLS team has an esports player that represents them. So, I pretty much practice against the New York City FC guy. How do you become the best player at FIFA? I think I think it's the same thing as like actual sports. The more time and dedication you put into it, the better you get at the video game. <sighs> it was crazy. Um, it was at the World Cup 2017 in uh, in London, and I ended up making it all the way to the semifinals. You know, finishing top four in the world at a, at like a World Cup. You know, I put like Toronto, Canada on the map, and like the FIFA scene because usually it's all Europeans that dominate in FIFA. And when like they saw me, they were just amazed. Even the commentators were like, "Who's this? Who's this Phil B94 guy? He's just he's just destroying everyone right now." So. Do people recognize you now? Like, do people come up to you and you're like, ah, oh, like, I saw you playing FIFA. At the tournaments, yeah. But like, even here, like, uh, my old high school friends and my university friends are like, wow, like, you know, they're like, that's so cool you do, like, what everyone wants to do for a living is play video games, you know? How did you know you were good at FIFA? Um, honestly, all my friends told me, like, you feel you're pretty good, this, that, you know, all throughout high school. I never knew there was, like, an esports world out there that I was going to end up being in. And uh, till you know, 2017, I ended up getting invited to an event, and it was just uphill from there. The grand final of the World Cup is one of the, you know, for me, it, it's not playing for the money, it's playing for the trophy, but you do win, like, a large amount of money, so I think for the World Cup you win three hundred thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, so pretty good motivation there. Yeah, it's good motivation, but to be honest with you, there's nothing greater than you know lifting that trophy. So it's, that's one of my dreams is lifting one. I remember the first event I went to, my hands were like shaking and stuff. So, but now that's that's done. Each event, my nerves were going down and down, and now they're just like. I'm just a pro. Yeah, just, now I just whatever. Now when I play, I'm just stone-faced. Like when people watch me on stream, I'm just stone-faced, there's no emotion. That is if you would watch me two years ago, that, that, there'd be so emotion, like if I would lose the ball, I'd be like, oh. So you don't even react? No. Nothing? No. Not even for fun? No. I feel like I'd be super dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there's, there's those FIFA pro players that are super dramatic when something happens, you know? It's funny because I ask pros that come to the first events and I ask them like are you nervous and they're like yeah they're so like you can see it in their face they're so nervous and it's, to me I just tell them like it's okay you don't have to be nervous like it's your first event you know it's a long road so you know take it out it comes. 